Hello everyone and welcome to Onion Skin. This is part one of migrating from Flash to Toon Boom. We're actually going to have a look at the program now. Uh, mainly the interface. Why is it so crazy different? How can I relate to it? What does it all mean? Let's dive in. So you've got the product in hand, you've opened it up and this is what you see. A gray screen, a whole lot of nothing else. We're mostly going to be having a look at the different views. This is the camera view and we're going to be demonstrating with Strawbudgy. There he is, looking magnificent. And you can see the camera view comes with a grey background. That just means it's transparent and will come out with an alpha channel. Uh, and you can see the stage borders. The drawing view on the other hand up here is white with no camera around it. So why is that? What's the point of these two different views? What purpose do they serve? Now the camera view is where you're going to spend most of your time. It's the main working space. The drawing view is kind of used to duck in and make quick edits. It's not your main working space. To demonstrate why it's like this, let's have a look at Flash. So here's a crudely made tree wafting in the breeze. Oh dear. Okay, the main way Flash is set up to manage all your artwork is with grouping symbols together, right? So this is the main piece. It's all in one symbol, all in one layer. And if we go inside that, we've got clumps of trees, uh, clumps of trees, clumps of leaves with the main trunk. Inside that, each clump is made of three leaves. Inside that, there's the leaf with its wafting animation. And inside that, finally, is the raw vector art. So we've gone five levels deep to be able to put this thing together. And can you remember when you were first learning this? It was pretty full <laughs> to get your head around it. But it's second nature now. How can I expect you to change? Toon Boom doesn't really set itself up by grouping things together in symbols. It uses pegs and they all exist on the surface level. So here is the tree wafting away. And inside of its layer, you can see it will unpack and just has tons of stuff going on. So each peg is just like each symbol going inside of it. So you can see each one eventually will go down to the individual leaf being motion twinned. Now having them all up on the surface like this, you know, makes your layer so complicated where we very quickly got over a hundred layers in this one document. Um, and say, for example, the change I want to make is to the tree trunk itself. The line thickness in comparison to straw budgie is, is way too much. I want to make that thinner. So I'd go and select the whole thing and it selects everything. I don't want that. I just want to select the tree. What do I do? Do I go around oh, locking everything and, uh, you know, making stuff invisible? And No, this is what the drawing view is for. If I select just the tree and go to drawing view, there you go. It cuts all the nonsense. It's just that layer on its own, no frills, you can get on with it. But the two views remain live. So for this example, I'm gonna pull the drawing tab off and place it next to it. Use the camera view as a reference point. I can select the whole tree, drop down its thickness. Bam, there we go, that looks much nicer. Another example I'd like to show is with this sign here. Now I can't physically draw on this sign right now to make any changes because it's not skewed, it's not transformed. It's literally back there. Toon Boom's equipped with a full 3D engine. 2D elements set up in a 3D space. So you can understand why it won't let me draw straight on there because you know, you're drawing flat brush strokes on something that's sideways. So again, if I just click on it, bam, there it is. The sign, just as I drew it, flat against the thing. <laughs> there we go. Go that way instead, fair enough. And that's the drawing view. 
Now, this whole time, you've probably been wondering why in both of these views, everything looks so pixelated and rasterized. You know, that's not nice. Why, what's happened to, you know, the nice looking flash, how everything's all nice and smooth all the time. Uh, well, it's a very deliberate choice that they've made. Uh, the regular view is in OpenGL, which means it's faster, smoother, and is far less likely to crash when you draw a single line. It doesn't affect anything about how you go about working. You even stop noticing it after the first 20 minutes and you'll never really, it won't bother you again. But if you do want to see everything crisp, down here in the left is the third viewing option, the render view. Here is OpenGL here, the gray flower and the blue flower will activate render mode. There we go. So you can see because it's an alpha channel, the background drops away completely and reveals itself to be black and all the strokes are nice and crisp. And the other thing is that it's actually not in vectors at all in this view, but it is rasterized. The reason for that is this is showing exactly how it's gonna come out in a video in whatever codec you choose. Uh, so whenever you go beyond 100%, it will start to pixelate, which is what we want. It's very handy to see uh, what is so small that it's not going to be seen in an actual video. So we're working in this view most of the time and you know, say we don't want the gray. It is actually more useful because, you know, think about it. It's more often that you're gonna be paint bucketing with white like eyes or teeth than, than a gray. Um, but if you want white back there, hit the plus sign and go to color card. It's like you're drawing layer again, there you go. Um, the color cards are a physical layer that get dropped far into the background like that. And what makes them so handy is you can have more than one of different colors and switch them back and forth to for whatever you need in the situation. So those are three main views. The last thing I wanna show off in this video is the camera. So I've set up a few other layers here and I'll turn the camera on. Um, that box isn't just the stage. Think of it like, like it is VCam, but VCam's actually built in and a part of the software and encouraged to be used. It can be keyframed like any other shape and it works in 3D like any other shape, just like that. So with two keyframes, we've created parallax and I can pick up on this keyframe and go to top view and check that out. Wow. So we're looping in and front and around all this stuff. It's pretty cool and a lot of fun to use. Uh, so that's the general interface of Toon Boom Animate Pro. We haven't actually drawn anything yet. Uh, so tune in next time. We're gonna have a play with the brush and the pencil and see how this program manages vectors. And that's where we're actually gonna be drawing this here magnificent award-winning tree. Until then, farewell.